Before working here, I didn't work in this sector at all. I didn't work in textiles. I was an industrial climber, so I was always on the move. I ended up in this corner of Ardèche because it was peaceful and quiet. I just had my second child and I was feeling like I couldn't see my little girl grow up. So I looked for a job where I could settle down not far from home. That's when I found work at Ardelaine. The issue with industrial work, at least to me, I wouldn't like to make one mattress per minute. The real pressure of the work is to see the mattress evolve with what I do by hand. This is not lonesome work. Of course we help each other. We're friends here. We don't have the pressure of time. We all know that work must go on. But there is not spirit of competition between each other. That's not the way we think. We attempt to work in every step of production in the workshop. Everybody contributes, so not one single person makes a mattress from beginning to end. If I assemble this mattress, I will not be the one to sue it. Then I can do the finishing touches. Then Julien can check the finished work. We always pass the work to each other. That way everyone brings their special touch. Before France, back in Sudan, I worked with cotton, not with wool. It was too hot to have wool. There was cotton everywhere. In cities, in cities everyone goes really, really fast, all day. Every day they just have time to say hi, that's it, nothing else. Now in the village, here we got time to go to the bar, two minutes, it's nice. When you left Sudan yes. to go to Europe, yes. what kind of job did you expect to have? Le job? Yes, a job, working in an office. No, 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 no. An office for all day, no. Masonry? Oh yes, in Sudan there used to be lots of work. I worked with wood and then masonry. And then for three or four months, I also worked in a shop. I like the workshop. An office is not for me. I like working with my hands. Every day we have to do all steps to create a mattress. Every day there's lots of work. Isam, I will need your help for this. It's still a little hard for me to write in French, so I ask Samuel or Marshall to write for me in the computer. He works for me, you see. <laughs> it's um, we'll have to move this to the sewing table. So you can see the old mill here, just in the back. When we came here for the first time, we were looking for that old wooden mill because we were very interested in wood. Like many people from our generation, we wanted to rediscover the skills that helped our ancestors to be autonomous and that actually permitted humanity to exist. At the time, that knowledge was really put at risk because of industrialization and consumerism. We met the owner of the mill in her small garden. All of that were gardens, actually. She told us that it was all over. The snow has broken the roof of her mill, and it has become dangerous to enter. But my husband told her he wasn't afraid of the ruins, and he wanted to take a look. In the end, she let us in, and we realized that the mill was frozen in time. Some machines even had wool in them, it was like he stopped working yesterday. At first, we rebuilt everything during seven years. We put a hydro turbine back together, we learned the skills to process wool, and then, in 1982, we created Ardelaine. We produce things slowly, we still work with our hands. Can you believe it? Actually, we made the bet that it was still possible to produce things in a different way. However, in return, of course, we learn less money. Our wages are at the minimum, but our lifestyles are also different. So yes, we have to make sacrifice, but it works. We always lived with low wages, 
but we lived decently, even normally. Our children never lacked anything. Nowadays, it's still possible in the countryside to live with low wages, as long as we mutualize our benefits. We always talk about the climate, but it's linked to the economy. So it's our duty to think about the economy and to propose alternatives, alternatives of any kind, maybe producing more slowly and consuming differently, with the whole relation between production and consumption that have to change. Mm-hmm. We need to bring our production closer. We may be happy to have stuff that is made in China, but it should be things that can only be made in China. We always cared about producing without having a harmful impact on the environment. We started by refusing wool that was treated with chemicals, even if it was common practice at the time. We even created a quality charter with sheep farmers. 